Hey folks, a mild night across the valley. Temperatures have dropped into the 60s valley-wide now. 68 finally in McAllen after being 72 the last half hour. 66 in Port Isabel. Harlan's in definitely the cool spot at 61 degrees right now. Winds overnight tonight going to be relatively calm. We're showing a southeasterly direction, but not much color showing up, so it's a pretty light wind all night. And even tomorrow morning, we'll start the day at 8 a.m. with a light south to southeasterly wind. But as the day goes on, the yellow colors start to show up, and that's indicating 20 to 25 mile per hour winds out of the southeast. So it'll be a gusty afternoon again. And the fact that it's from the southeast, coming off the Gulf, it's bringing moisture back in, so humidity will start to go up. And then tomorrow night, it'll die down a little bit again, but still out of the southeast, so the moisture will stay with us. As far as your low temperatures tonight, pretty much everybody in the low 60s. 60s, Star County probably in the upper 50s, and then tomorrow afternoon, warmer than today by about 5 degrees, 81 in the east to about 93 in the west. Still plenty of sunshine tomorrow. We don't see enough moisture for any cloud cover, certainly no rain for a couple of days at least. Temperatures stay above average until the second half of next week when the models are indicating we could see a little bit of a cool down by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. We'll look more at that in a second. These are the currents, 58 in Austin right now. Dallas checks in at 66 degrees. Odessa 65, Del Rio at 68 at this hour. Front that came through this morning is out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico and continuing to push away. So tomorrow, in the upper atmosphere, we still have a southwesterly wind at the surface down here at the ground. It'll come out of the southeast. About the same thing for Saturday. So we're hot. We're still breezy. Saturday, especially late in the day, probably some showers up in north Texas. Sunday, that turns into thunderstorms. Lots of rain from central to east Texas. Down here, we're probably once again on the south side looking north at the rain. A slight chance of something here, but we're talking a very slight chance. Most of the area should stay dry. And then Monday, the flow aloft comes out of the west. Following these red lines, surface winds out of the northwest, so it should dry out. Should be really pretty, but still hot. We're not expecting any cooler temperatures behind that front. Next front around Wednesday or so, again, could trigger a brief shower. And then the models indicate slightly cooler temperatures. Look how that flow bends around, comes out of the northwest. That's a cooler, drier flow for the end of next week. As we go into the weekend, we may see isolated showers, but look to the north. Heavy rain between Houston and Dallas. Some areas up there could see four to six inches of rain. Our rain chances kind of go up to about 20% on Sunday and then come back to 20% again on Wednesday. Otherwise, we're dry. So tonight, 61, your low, clear skies and cool, light southeasterly winds. And tomorrow, the wind picks back up. We see sunshine. It's a breezy afternoon, a high of 90. So 90, 93, 95 for the spotty shower thunderstorm on Sunday. A lot of sunshine Monday and Tuesday. Brief showers possible Wednesday and then less humid, slightly cooler for the end of next week. That is your updated First One Five Forecast.